Hey there, this is MathCamp321, and in this lesson I want to give you a couple of examples of integration by substitution that involve trig functions. So let's take a look. Number six. In this problem, I'm asked to integrate sine squared of 3x times the cosine of 3x dx. So generally speaking, I want to allow you to come from the more complicated expression, and hopefully the derivative of that u is somewhere present in the problem. So if I'm deciding between allowing you to be the sine 3x or the cosine 3x, I'm going to first try to allow u to be the sine 3x because it comes from a more complicated expression, being that it's sine squared. So let's give that a try, allowing u to be sine 3x. The next step will be to take the derivative of each side with respect to x. This is going to require the chain rule. I'll now cross multiply, and I notice that my initial integrand doesn't have a random 3 floating around. So I want to divide out this 3 and rewrite this as 1 third du equals cosine 3x dx. And now for organizational purposes, I'll put all of these results of my substitution in a box. Now before I rewrite my initially stated problem exclusively in terms of u, what I think I'm going to do is just rewrite this problem a little bit, focusing on this right here. And I'm going to rewrite this integrand in the following way. Sine of 3x squared, this would be another way of squaring a trig function, is putting the squared on the outside, as opposed to here where it's written on the inside, times the cosine of 3x dx. So I've just rewritten my initially stated problem, so the substitution will be a little bit easier, I think. So now I'm going to rewrite this problem exclusively in terms of u. Now we've allowed u to be sine 3x, so it's going to start with just u squared, something very basic. And cosine 3x dx is this right here. That's at the bottom of our box, so that's going to be a pretty easy substitution as well. Cosine 3x dx is 1 third du. And I'll just write that 1 third out in front since it's a constant. In doing the integration, I'm going to leave some space, raise the power from 2 to 3, multiply by the reciprocal, which would be 1 third, and not forget to put my plus c. This ends up being 1 ninth u cubed plus c. And then we'll finish by back substituting in for u. u, of course, was sine 3x. Now, again, when you're raising a trig function to a power, Generally, that power is written here, so let's just do one more maneuver. And there you have it. Let's take a look at one more example involving trig expressions. So here we have another integration by substitution problem involving trig expressions. So what I think I'm going to do to start is just rewrite my integrand so that the squared is in a slightly different position. Now I'm going to make my selections for u. So I've got a choice of allowing u to be sine x or cosine x. And usually, u comes from the expression that is more complicated. And I think in this case, that's going to be to allow u to be cosine x. So let's give that a try. Differentiating both sides with respect to x, I get du dx equals negative sine x. Cross multiplying, I'll get du equals negative sine x dx. I notice that there's no negative sign floating around in the integrand, so I'm going to divide both sides by negative. And I'll take these four substitution steps and place them in a box for organization. Now I think I'm ready to rewrite this problem exclusively in terms of u. So instead of cosine x squared, I'm going to write u squared. And I notice that it ends with sine x dx. And this is my sine x dx down here in the bottom of the box. And that is, of course, the same as negative du. And I'll just place that negative on the outside. So this is going to be negative. Leave some space. Raise the power from 2 to 3. Reciprocate. Add your arbitrary constant. And then back substitute. Negative 1 third something cubed plus c, and that's something in this case is cosine of x. 
And of course, when you're raising a trig function to a power, typically that power is written here. So let's do one more maneuver. One third cosine cubed x plus c. And here you have our second example of integration by substitution using trig expressions.